back to the channel. So we left uh, New York City pretty early to go to North Main Woods. About seven, eight hours drive. Um, so it's just gonna be a little uh, uh, vlog that uh, I wanna do. But check this out. This is a spot just on the way. Beautiful, beautiful scenery, lovely fall colors. It's amazing. All right, this uh, is a little campsite that we found uh, that was still open, a uh, KOA uh, campsite. Most of the campsites are closed. So here we already entered Maine, but we were still far away from the Maine Woods entrance. Uh, and it was getting late, so I decided to just pull over here, camp out. It was a sweet little spot. Spend the night here, and uh, early in the morning, we hit the road back to uh, get to North Maine Woods. Main Woods. We're basically up here, and so this is the the, the Moosehead Lake. Uh, we could either enter at this checkpoint right here, or we could go all the way down here and enter a checkpoint right here. But I think we're gonna go on this one. Excited.
got a beautiful spot last night. Though we were late, but uh, this is right by the river. I think three, four spots here. Beautiful. So today we're gonna have breakfast and then go ahead and explore the North Main Woods. Hey guys, just to give you uh, an idea, it took us, uh, needless to say, uh, eight, nine hours to get to Greenville from Long Island. So we went through Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, New, New Hampshire, and then entered Maine. We came all the way down here. So here, we needed to make a decision, either go through this checkpoint over here, um, or, or uh, a checkpoint what they call is 20, 20 miles so from here um, there's the gas station I decided to go over here thinking that I wanted to get close there and fill up but I found out around here that there's no more gas station so I had to come back here all the way down filled up here now I decided to go to uh, the 20 mile checkpoint but you know coming over here there's no sign or anything so of course I missed it went all the way down here long pond that's when I realized that I had skipped this so I came all the way back here to Rockwood um, filled up the gas and then there's a little bridge you just need to make a right off of the 15 this is 15 route 15 uh, when you make uh, when you cross that little bridge just keep to the right and you come to the checkpoint here the checkpoint also was moved six miles down uh, so there's a new location, but it's the same road. Um, at, this is the first uh, camp spot that we got. It's like three, four spots in here. We we're, were, we're uh, camped there last night. There was a gentleman here um, and as well as there. So they moved now. We moved over here. It's beautiful. You know, the, the view and the fire going on. You can have your fire here. There's a lot of wood here, even if you don't bring it. Um, so what we're gonna do is pack up and just drive around for like uh, explore some more of the side roads. Maybe we'll find uh, another campsite. If not, we'll come back here. So yeah, hope you enjoy. And uh, I think this is a beautiful area. I'll definitely be coming here, but for longer, not two, three days. Uh, you know, you, you need a week to come here and explore. This is a beautiful country. Preparing lap chops, maybe for dinner. But I just wanted to talk about this uh, end of October and the temperature dropped to about 35 degrees. And the gentleman here last night, they were telling that last week it, it actually snowed here in this region. So if you're coming in this time of the year, make sure you bring something with you that will really make your trip worthwhile. These are one of the best lamb chops. Costco sells it, it's halal. No matter where you get the lamb chops from, you get these ones and you put some salt and pepper, some dry chilies on the fire. That would be the best lamb chops you ever had.
48 hours, they're ready. They're actually ready right now, but we're gonna go for a drive in a few hours, explore the road, back road, and dinner time is ready. I'm so excited. So, you know, from the previous videos that we have watched, this bridge uh, turned out not to be the right size. So now we're stuck with it. Initially, I thought I'll make a galley here, but for right now, we're working with this. So all my kitchen stuff is in this one uh, box uh, that includes my supplies, utensils, everything. And it seems to work. Pretty much got everything in here, squeezed in. So I've had the, the tent for like almost two years now. Use it in the summer, cold weather like right now. I love it overall. There are some things that I definitely want to talk about. This being one of them. It's, apparently it's not as hard for other people, but I, for the life of me, I can never uh, collapse it on top. I have to bring it down. But I'll do a complete review of the tent things that I love about it, the things it feels uh, well improved and make it uh, a wonderful tent. 